Inch by inch, row by row, I'm gonna make this garden grow. It's been a few days since I've updated you on my garden. I've rearranged things in here, been able to turn three of my grow lights off, which is a good thing. And starting tomorrow or the next day, I will be putting plants out on my outdoor table, starting a few hour, hours or so, a little longer each day to get them hardened off. So let me show you. I also have a surprise, and I don't know what the surprise is. Let me show you the surprise first. Okay, I put the plastic in here to make sure the cats don't get in. So I'll move that so you can see what I've got. I thought this was an artichoke, and it started to come up, and then it didn't from last year. Took out the weeds, and when I did, look what I found. One of them came out, this one, and I replanted it. It was attached to a bulb. It was like a, a round bulb, so not a daffodil, maybe a tulip. I don't know for sure, but it's just now coming up. So I left it in here, and we'll see what happens. The plastic is just simply so the cats don't come in. Okay, let's go over here. These are all my lettuces that you've seen me harvest a couple of times. This one's ready for more. Harvesting has that one and that one kind of be can be harvested also. Then I've got several pots with just flowers in them. And that's asparagus. These are all my oniony type things. Those are peppers, flowers. That says they're hollyhocks. Flowers. I'm not sure what this is. It looks a bit like a tomato, but it doesn't smell like a tomato, so I don't know what it is. These are my fava beans, my little tiny Tim is blooming again. Flowers, that whole thing is banana tomatoes. Here are my secret seeds. Let's see if I can. I was trying to show you the label. Secret seed, there we go. I have three of them in there, and then I've got all kinds of other things in here that are looking real good. I do have one question. That says it's a cucumber, but that. Am I showing it to you? I think I'm too far away. There we go. That looks like a tomato plant to me. I think it's a tiny Tim seed that got mislaid. Okay, now for the short and tall of it. These two containers are all of my, basically all of my Tomato plants. Those are kind of small, a little bit puny looking, some of them. But look at these. <laughs> Those are, I don't know if I've ever had a tomato that tall ready to go outside. So it will need to get hardened off fast. There's several of them that tall. And my labels, of course, have long since gotten lost. But look how thick the look how thick the branches are. So those are nice and healthy. 
So I'm anxious to get those outside. And oh, when you mess with them, they smell so good. So I let hubby know that I needed to start putting those out on the porch to harden off, get ready for, excuse me, get ready for planting outdoors. I said, I could do that myself. He just needed to know I was going to. And my, my plans for him helping me will be coming up in a week or two. So I'm getting so anxious, so anxious for that. I sat down and typed out what needs to be done, the critical things outdoors. And I'm sure that it would look overwhelming, but it really isn't that many things. Getting my my totes filled up with, I'd like compost for my compost pile in the bottom part and then I got pro mix soil to go on top. We need to grab out some worm castings from my worms. <laughs> and then after my plants have been hardened up, get them planted. I think I'm going to go with kind of a square foot method in my little totes just so I can pack them full. Pack them full. I'm anxious for that. My garden out on the mound, I don't think I'll be doing so much with that this summer. Maybe toward the end of summer, I could maybe get some work done to prepare for next year. I don't know. But I will be lucky just to get the gar garden space right by my house. Something growing in it. And we did have a doctor's appointment this week. We're still improving. And we changed medicines again. Each medicine helps it get a little better, kind of in stages. Each medicine does a different kind of thing. So, slow by, slowly by slowly, getting better. And I just really appreciate all of you. I don't let you know that often enough. I appreciate every one of you, all 640 some odd, however many I've got subscribers. Every single one of you is important to me. And it sure would be nice to grow my channel to something sticky right there on my shirt. Something sticky on my shirt. <laughs> It sure would be nice to grow this channel to enough people that I could get a little pin money. But, you know, I've been doing this for several years now, and it's, this is all the much I've grown. So if you enjoy my channel, share me around. Share me around. Let's see if we can get more, more subscribers. That sure would be nice. Like I said, I just really, really, really appreciate all of you. I love it when you comment. I respond to as many of the comments as I can. If I get questionable comments, yeah, if you say something weird or just pop in a random link that goes to nowhere, you get deleted. Trust me, <laughs> I only, I only tolerate kind, kind things, <laughs> as do all of you. <laughs> I already know that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I made myself some mint tea, so I'm going to go pour myself a cup of it and sit here 
relax until my next video I wish I pray for God's love and blessings to surround you Darlene from Darlene's Garden signing out